Hi, I'm Dick Smothers. That's a picture of me when I was just a little boy. Now I've grown up to be the voice of Yo. I'm here to tell you how my brother Tom, after many years of searching and long hours of practice, became the Yo-Yo Man, and how you too can attain that lofty state of Yo. We started out with a normal family life, with Mom, Tom, and me, and we had a healthy and happy childhood. That is until Tom talked me into joining the Army. After an honorable discharge, Tom and I went off and pursued the truth of life, which ultimately led us to the state of Yo. People have asked me, where did the yo-yo come from? Very good question. Where did the yo-yo come from? Well, no one knows for sure, but according to the yo-yo man, the evolution of the yo-yo first began a long, long time ago when a man was caught observing a frog. He looked at that frog. He noticed the frog had a very unusual tongue. He thought maybe that tongue could be used for a lot of other things than flicking flies and insects. He said the tongue went real far out, back and forth. So he, he held the frog by his long tongue and bounced him up and down. <laughs> then he tried around the world. Around the world worked pretty well, too. <laughs> Yo-Yo Man looked at the frog and said, it's great fun, but not for you, right? The frog agreed, and we finished with the frog. Now, the next step, isn't that right, Yo-Yo Man? He said yes, of course. Now, the next step in the evolution of Yo-Yo came one night as a man was caught studying a spider working its way up and down a silken thread. So, of course, he thought to himself, I wonder, what if I... Yes, I think I'll try around the world with this handsome spider. And that worked pretty well. Then he said, I think I'll try loop the loop. Loop the loop worked real well, too. That is until... Ah! <laughs> yeah. I think you get the point. No one knows when or where the yo-yo made its first appearance on this planet. But legend has it that it goes way, way, way back to near the beginning of time, or possibly just after the discovery of string. But one thing for sure, the yo-yo has remained very popular ever since. For centuries, the young and old, rich and poor, the famous and powerful have all pursued the same goal. They have searched and searched and searched and searched for the pure and supreme state of yo! Do you know how the state of yo can give you new life? Do you know how the state of yo can lift your spirits? Do you know how the state of yo can change an ordinary dullard into someone special? Well, take a look at this man. Here's an example of a man before he discovered and achieved the mystic state of yo. Not a living thing could stand to be in his presence. Flowers would wilt, food would spoil, animals and insects would find him and bite him and then die gladly. <laughs> For instance, witness this encounter with a small child. Hello, small child, he said. Ooh. You see, even the child recognized this man's apparent lack of yo. Pardon me, miss, I'm a stranger in your town. Could you please show me the way to your house, he said. Ooh. And even disagreeable, sour old political losers found him quite annoying. Well, this is getting me nowhere, he said. And that's when he discovered, that's when he discovered the yo-yo. He saw the light. He heard the music. He found the groove. It's yo-yo Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's something even more special. It's the yo master. My brother Tom could not believe his eyes. I want to be a yo-yo man, he cried. Make me a yo-yo man. But the yo-yo master did not answer. He just kept on yoing. Well, can you at least help me get started, please? Yes, he said. But first, you must learn the basics of yo.
The basics. Stringing the yo, tying the knot, creating the loop, placement on the finger, twisting and winding, throwing and retrieving, string tension, and replacement. Let's start off by stringing the yo. Slip the yo yo through the loop of the string. Now give it a twist to the right. That's clockwise. That's right. Now hold the yo yo between your feet and stretch the string up to your waist. Hold it taut there and clip off the string. That's right, yo yo man. Ooh, watch out, yo yo man. That's not where you're supposed to put the scissors. The reason you want the string at that length is that you don't want it so long that the yo yo keeps banging the ground. Now that's right, yo yo man. Tie a nice little knot right there at the top of the string. Now tie a loop, a little loop around the end of the string. And you don't want the loop too small so that it binds on the loop and when it's around your finger and cuts off circulation. So have it a nice loose loop, like it shows right there in the diagram. That's good. Now place the string of the loop around your middle finger, just behind the first knuckle. Right there. That's good. Now put it tight, and you're ready to go. Let's start off by spinning the yo-yo to the right to twist the string tight. Sounds like a simple thing to do, but sometimes you'll find that the yo-yo string keeps slipping around and you can't wind it very easily. Winding this yo-yo should be easy, but here's what the yo-yo man does. See his finger? There. He slips it right across the yo-yo, makes an extra loop, then slides the finger out. And now you can start winding a little tighter and a little tighter. And that's perfect. Now the yo-yo's ready to go. Notice which way you're winding the yo-yo. See the, see the arrow there? And the yo-yo string is wound to the outside towards the end of the fingers. The reason it's wound towards the end of the fingers is that when you do an overhand release, palm up release, the yo-yo just naturally rolls off the hand down to the sleeper position. Do it again, yo-yo man. See the palm is up towards the yo-yo man, facing the yo-yo man, and a nice natural roll left into your fingers. See, the reason you do that overhand roll is that you get a lot of power in the spin. Tell you what, try just dropping the yo-yo from the underside of the palm of the hand. You see how lazy it spins? It doesn't spin very good at all. You see, the problem the yo-yo man has there is the string is not twisted enough. It's too loose. So twist it right for tight. That's right. Now, ooh, see, now here's the opposite problem. It's too tight. So what you do is spin the yo-yo to the left for loose, which will untwist the string a little bit, and then there's no problem. It's a little bit of trial and error. So just wind it too tight one time, wind it too loose another, and you'll get what I mean. Uh-oh, you know what? Yo-yo strings don't last forever, and no one really knows how long one will last. So if you're worried about it sometimes, take off a string after it's been on a while, say a few days, and throw it away. It's important never to aim the yo-yo directly at anybody. And make sure you have plenty of room for tricks. Because you never know when you might lose that state of yo. When Tommy was just a little boy, his hero was the traveling professional yo-yo man. And as Tommy grew up, he never lost his love for the yo-yo. But when you approach the yo-yo as an adult, it has a whole different dimension than when you were just a child. For instance, there's a philosophy of life of which the yo-yo is the center. It goes like this. We're all warm and secure in our homes like a yo-yo is in the palm of the hand. Now, when the yo-yo is flung out into space like this, that's what we do every day when we leave our homes and go out into the world. We're out there trying to impress our friends, our neighbors, our loved ones. We're out there trying to get ahead in life. We're out there trying to look groovy. Hey, look groovy, Tom. That's it. That's my brother's groovy look. Now we'd like to teach you the nine basic yo-yo tricks. Notice that each trick has its own color. That's so that when you want to refer to a particular trick for review, just fast forward your VCR 
until you see the flashing color of your choice. Press play and you're ready to go. Okay, palm up release. Yo-yo in the sleeper position, spinning at the bottom of the string at a high rate of speed. Now the yo-yo master has his uh, hand up in the air, the arm. You don't have to do it like that. You can if you want, but it's not necessary. Now, see the finger there? Little tug of the finger, yo-yo back up to the palm of the hand. Hey, yo-yo man, why don't you try it? That's right. Back up to the palm of the hand. Very well done. Now notice it's a palm up release. Smart, smart release. Lots of spin. Yo-yo spinning at a high rate of speed at the end of the string. And then when you're ready, just sort of bring it up to the palm of the hand. This trick is for animal lovers. Now throw a real fast sleeper, just like the one you learned. Let it spin at the end of the string for a few beats, then gently lower the yo-yo back towards your heel, gently to the ground. Now keep slacking the string by moving your hand away from your body, following the yo-yo. Then at the end of the run, jerk your hand up, just a little tug, the yo-yo comes back up to the palm of the hand. Now it's real important that you do a fast spin, overhand release, really fast spin, Stabilize the yo-yo there for a few seconds. Lower it towards your heel. Follow it out. That's right. Now, jerk the hand. Little tug. Back to the palm of the hand. If you want to go for a walk with the dog, that's okay too. Breakaway is a little different from the other tricks in that the release is to the side and across the body. See, up and out, down and around, and across the body. Yo-Yo Man says he'd like to try it by himself. Okay, Yo-Yo Man, let's see if you can do it. Now bring the arm up, down and out, and across the body. That's right. Let's try it once more. Slow motion this time. Hand comes up, palm in, then down and out. Across the body, and right there, a little tug of the hand brings the yo-yo right back to the palm of the hand. Let's watch the yo-yo man do it a couple more times. You're in the groove, yo-yo man. Over the falls is a pretty fancy trick. You fling the yo-yo straight out, then back over your wrist, straight down, then back up to the palm of the hand. Let's try it in slow motion. Rear release, straight out, over the wrist, between the arm and body, straight down, then up to the palm of the hand. Let's watch it in stop action. Arm back, wrist cocked, straight forward release, and come right back over the wrist, between the forearm and the body, straight down, up to the hand. Around the world's the yo-yo man's favorite trick because it best illustrates his philosophy of life. He thinks of us as the yo-yo in the palm of the hand. And as we live life, we go out into the world spinning around and around, seeing new places and making new friends. Let's watch the yo-yo man do it in slow motion. Now the arm comes back, down and forward, around, now a slight tug on the string, back to the hand. Let's watch it in stop motion. Now the yo-yo man brings his hand back, wrist cocked, down and forward, Yo-Yo's way out there, now watch the hand, stays very quiet in the center, hardly moves at all. A Yo-Yo man's going around twice, because he has a lot of spin on it, but you just try one revolution to start. Good going, Yo-Yo man, nice trip. Let's watch around the corner. 
Yo-Yo Man says he'd like to try it. Let's watch it in slow motion. Good fast sleeper position. Bring the yo-yo string gently behind the arm, midway between the elbow and the shoulder. Cock the wrist back a little bit and sort of wave the hand, a little tug. Over the arm, straight down back up to the palm of the hand. Let's try it once more. Now, overhand release, good fast sleeper. Then very gently bring that string back over the arm. Now, try to get the elbow, wrist, and shoulder approximately the same height. Cock your wrist back and then wave your hand forward, just a little wave. The yo-yo will come over the arm, straight down, hold your hand about waist high, then a little tug back to the palm of the hand. Let's watch the yo master. Now here's a variation on around the corner. It's called kick around the corner. Everything's the same to this point. Then you bring your left leg back and sort of fake a kick at it. See, just don't quite touch it, but at the same time, wave the hand. Yo-Yo comes up, down, and back home again. Nifty trick, yo master. Rocking the baby is one of the most famous of all the yo-yo tricks. The yo-yo man gets more requests for this trick than any other. Now, here's the yo-yo man rocking the baby. Builds the cradle with his left hand, rocks the baby with his right. Back to the palm of the hand. Now let's try it in slow motion. Yo-yo down and a fast sleeper. Now a little more than a third down with the left hand, you grab the yo-yo string. Then, with the right hand a few inches above the yo-yo, Grab the string. Now, spread the fingers of the left hand, turning palm up, build the cradle, rock the baby with the right hand. To release from this position, release with the right hand, bring the left hand up, and back home again. Let's try it again. Fast release, sleeper. Now a bit more than a third down with the left hand and the right. Now you're gonna have to experiment a little bit with this to try to get the right amount of swing for the baby in the cradle so it fits. You just watch this. You could run this tape backwards and forward because it's a little tricky in getting the right dimensions for the cradle. Spank the baby. That's a little variation on rock the baby. Here's another one. It's called rock the baby cha-cha-cha. It's a little fancy. Cha-cha-cha. Let's see you do it, yo-yo man. Builds the cradle, rocks the baby, cha-cha-cha. Let's watch the Yo-Master up close, slow motion. Now he has so much spin on it that he's going to do, you could count them, four and a half cha-cha-chas. Okay, here he goes. Start counting him. go four and a half watch this release up out and away and with an overhand grip great catch pretty cocky there he thought maybe I'll try rock the froggy in the cradle and that worked pretty good too in fact is you could see the man was having lots of fun the yo-yo man doing his loop the loops and now the yo master in slow motion will show you how to do it hand back forward release and then with your wrist and finger bring the yo-yo back between the arm and the body and then fling it out again watch the timing on this trick hand back between the arm and body and out again when you first try this trick just try one or two loop the loops now here's a good shot on the wrist and finger action on loop the loop See how it comes back? Watch that string in relation to the hand action. This particular trick, the yo-yo never sleeps. And actually, if you do these loop-de-loops right, you could build energy and go faster and faster and do as many loop-de-loops as you want.
And that's loop the loop. This last trick is dual purpose. Not only is the flying saucer fun to watch, but it also adjusts the twist or the tension of the yo-yo string. Now see the yo-yo comes out, takes an angle in the sleeper position, continues until it's spinning absolutely flat, and then you bring it back to the hand. Now the reason it does this is, unlike the other tricks, the yo-yo release is not straight down, it's to the side. See that? Yo-yo man just flung it to the side about 45 degree angle, boom, back to the palm of the hand. Now let's see how we do this trick. You take your overhand release to the side, see, right from the start, 45 degree angle. Now watch, in the sleeper position, the yo-yo is cocked a little bit, see it? Now it's even continuing till it's absolutely flat. Now take your left hand about midway on the string, slide it down to about four to six inches above the yo-yo, hold it out there until you're ready to bring it home, then a slight lift with the left hand, a tug with the right, and back to the hand. It's very important with this trick that you release the yo-yo easier. That is, with not as much power as you would with a front release. The yo-yo cannot accept as much power with a side release. It'll just pop right back up. See the yo-yo man's release? Nice and easy. Now, with the left hand, he pinches the string, holds it tight, and watch the string untwist. That is the flying saucer. Nice flying, yo-yo man. In honor of the Yo-Yo Man's completion of the nine basic Yo-Yo tricks, did he ask for gold, silver, or other material goods? No, he did not. He simply asked for and received his very own suspenders. That's right, suspenders. I have no idea why he wanted these suspenders. But then again, they made him so happy. Congratulations, Yo-Yo Man. Congratulations. a tiny baby in a little cradle. And now the Eiffel Tower. Monkey up a string. The Texas Star. The man on the flying trapeze. Well, I want to be like a yo-yo man. To spread my yo all over the land. The goofy dance and funny clothes Oh, he's making them laugh wherever he goes The two-handed loop-the-loop Here comes the motorcycle Riding the horse. Never say nothing, don't matter to him. He's telling it all with his yo yo grin. The brain twister. He's a yo -yo Rock the baby in the Eiffel Tower. The dog bites man. That hurts, doesn't it, Yo-Yo Man? Now this is a real nifty trick. It's called Dog Jumping Through Hoop. Let's watch that again. Through the hoop. One more time, Yo Master. Here comes the scary spider web. Ooh, scary. Loop the loop with around the world. 
milk the cow. I wanna be like the yo-yo man. Catch a little smile in the palm of your hand. But never give up and never get low. This is the roller coaster. Just keep on trying and just see yo. Once again now. Very enchanted. Very good, yo yo man. It's working. And when the yo yo man meets an attractive young woman, she's as enchanted as well. Look how enchanted she looks. Oh, yo yo man. That'll straighten your string, won't it? Stay here, yo yo man. You have more to prove. And now when he meets that sour old political loser, he's also enchanted. Watch this. Wait a minute. No, he's not enchanted. It's not working. Try it again, Yo-Yo Man. Please don't fail. Try it again, Yo-Yo Man. Go a second time. At <laughs> Wait, look, it worked. He's a success. The Yo-Yo Man did it. Congratulations, Yo-Yo Man. You've gotten them all into a state of yo. So everybody remember, just stay loose, stay cool, stay in the groove, and of course, just say yo. Sports, comedy, photography, travel, music, nature, and entertainment for the entire family. It's all here for you to enjoy as you explore the wonderful world of Kodak video programs. Here are some previews of the very best family programming from Kodak. When I was young, I ate two steaks, football, training table, two steaks, didn't chew them, just ate them. <laughs> just give me a wow, how? People said, oh, look at that boy eat. Higher, higher.
The laughter never ends when Bill Cosby shares his views on reaching age 49. His hilarious way of making the ordinary laughable will be an evening of fun for all ages. No one tells it quite like Cosby. If you think I'm a man in a robot suit, you've made a mistake. If you think I'm a robot in a man suit, you're correct. Can we? Certainly. Play the video and solve the mystery that saves the Earth. I've got the answer. Think. You're right. Robots, the most fun you can have with your VCR. Kodak Video Programs proudly announces Harry Belafonte live in concert from Africa. For every fan, for every music collector, Harry Belafonte, Global Carnival. Now available on home video. Kenny Rogers, star of music and movies, now comes into your home with the exciting Gambler series. The Gambler, a sure winner you can bet on. It's all here and more. Kodak Video Program's quality entertainment for the entire family. Kodak Video Program's, designed for your enjoyment.